Hi everyone, my name is Courtney Bodel. I'm a nutritionist and organic gardener with the Westchester Green Team. Today I'm at the home of Dawn Mazone on 300 Price Street in the Westchester Borough, prepared to make her green dream come true of flipping her home into a food growing space. The biggest crop in the USA are lawns, and we do not eat grass. With climate change and other social impacts, I think it's time we shift our attention to growing our own food locally. And what's more local than your own front and backyard? Welcome to my front yard. It is um, a little bit uneven because there was a huge tree that came down on it. And so there's a lot of unevenness. There also used to be two big evergreens, one on this side and one on that side. So there's some root systems that are still there. I haven't ever planted uh, vegetables before or anything else. I haven't used fertilizers or other kinds of things on this lawn. I just get a cut. My name is Nathaniel. I'm one of the leaders of the green team and Courtney, who is our gardening expert, is going to um, show you what it looks like. Well, that looks pretty good actually. Yeah. So we, it looks like we have nice rich soil for at least six inches here, wow. which is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, we want to avoid clay as much as possible. And it's important in the cold months to make sure that your soil is rich and that you're taking samples to see what the pH is. Maybe we better take a sample over on this side to see what it looks like. Around, around here maybe, see, what it's, see what's happening. All right, that, that went in nicely. Looks pretty good. Okay. Um, that's, that's very good news. So if, if the sun rises uh, in summer over there, that's a clear shot. The house um, is not so high that it's going to block the sun. But then we're going to get into these two big trees over here in uh, the middle of the day. That's in the south. But then um, after that, we have the house next door, uh, tree there. But then we have a nice clear sky here down Price Street to the west. So we'll have a good, good afternoon, mid, mid to late afternoon sun. Do we have to worry about uh, what kind of things are we're able to plant seasonally or you know how many hours of sunlight we're going to get this is the north side and with in the summertime i mean that tree's going to be filled with leaves those trees are going to be filled with leaves so it's all up for consideration that's why i thought maybe we'll do trees in the front and some veggie gardens up closer to the patio <laughs> um shall we should we go around to the backyard yes okay. of course which way this yeah, something lovely. Yeah, yeah. Something. So what is this, John? Well, it's an old millstone laid out, and uh, it's functional as like a sculpture. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's a place for, uh, it's got a history to it, yeah. you know. Well, I think there's a lot of opportunities to use this grist mill. Mm -hmm. mm. mm -hmm. Over here, I've planted the cryptomeria trees, which act as a barrier for the busy corner that it is. And they're just, they've grown so immensely in a short time. I think compost could go back in here, right? I want one on that corner because that's more exposed. But this corner, um, you know, it's the distinction between our yard and the neighbor's yard. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would be spot. a good spot. The, uh, the soil feels pretty springy. Does it? Yeah, let's have a dig here. It feels a lot better than the plant. It's a lot softer. Oh, wow. Maybe it was a garden in the past. Oh, have you ever gardened here? It's been a really long place like How long have you been here? That's what you want to see right there. 35 years. Yeah. No, that's good. So how about sun? South is here. Right. The sun is, in fact, coming out a little bit right now. Yeah. We have a nice opening here to the south. On the east and on the west, there's that big pine tree. So that's going to block most of the afternoon light. Mm -hmm. um, we have to take that into consideration. Yeah, I don't... It's going to be a little tough here for some plants, like... Um, Tomatoes, peas, squash. I think they're going to need more sun than this. Um, Maybe we'll have to try potatoes. 
potatoes, yeah, they'll, they'll grow. You have to be flexible when you're a gardener. Huh? Well, yeah, that's part of the fun. So how big a garden are you thinking of? You know, I, I'm going to need help, so yeah. it depends on people and assistance and what we plan out. I'm, I'm okay with just a little thing that borders along the back or, you know, I'm not expecting this whole backyard. We still play badminton back here. <laughs> okay. Well, the good news is you can get a lot of food from just one plant. So. Take that into account. So I guess um, later on uh, we need to lay out the borders where you want it. Mm -hmm. I think we've sort of concluded the front bank might be more promising for some things because of the light. Although the soil here looks really good. Well, we could do something back here, do you know? Yeah. And still yeah. have right. plenty of open space back there. So the sun will be higher in the summer. Mm -hmm. So th this should have pretty good sunrise right mm -hmm. here. I have a yeah. layout of my uh, how the yard looks right now. Mm -hmm. We can go inside and look at that. Yeah, maybe if we have like a diagram, we, we can at least like have a clip of that. All right, so here's a diagram of Dawn's space. It looks like here's the front of the yard and mm -hmm. here's the back of the yard. Mm -hmm. um, Nathaniel, do you want to talk about the sunlight exposure? Yeah, I'm always sunlight oriented. South is this way diagonally in Westchester. So as we were mentioning in the front yard, the sun um, in the summer will rise over over there, um, which is northeast, and it'll set um, up, up this way, which is northwest. So we have to sort of follow the rotation of the sun during the day to see where it's going to be shining onto the future plants. There's this big tree up here. Is that... Uh, What's that's that? the existing white pine. Yeah. That is the one that you were pointing yeah. at. That so that's a bit of an obstacle. can definitely block yeah. the sun. So that's why I was thinking, you know, in the afternoon, um, the sun is going to be blocked by that. So maybe the farther we are this way, the more sun we're going to get overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that corner. This area here, and then you, yep. can, you can put your badminton up here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we could put compost over in this in space. In that corner. Yeah, over right. Mm -hmm. right. Right. All right. And the shade is good for compost. Great. Great. Thank you.